everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today, I'm here with a small business Saturday review for you. For those of you who are relatively new to my channel, I occasionally do small business Saturday reviews. If I come across a great product that I really want to share with people or a small business that I think could use a little bit of love, then I will bring it to you guys in this format. So today I'm here to share with you a product that I purchased that I have since met the owner and creator of the product and he has a small business and because of his really awesome customer service and kind of cool story, I decided to feature him and his product on this Small Business Saturday video. So if you're interested in learning about these reusable bags, stay tuned for the rest of this video. If you're here because you had hoped this was a wig review, then what I'll tell you is that I have on my head Tress Allure Mid-Length Beach Wave in the color 1218. I just did a review of this today as well. And so I don't know what order these are gonna get released in, but I do have a review of Mid-Length Beach Wave on my channel. It's actually also called, what used to be called Zinnia. And I have her in this awesome updo which I did with my very own self, uh, but I uh, will be sharing the details of this wig in a future video. So let's talk about this bag because I'm gonna go on and on and on and this is gonna be forever. So here's my story. Here's how I came to get these bags and why I'm talking to you about them today. So as some of you know, I have recently left my job and I'm no longer employed. And I've been home now for a couple of months and I really am enjoying the slower pace of life and being av available to my um, my dad and to my aunt, who um, my dad is cancer, my aunt is you know older and lives alone and um, really struggling with arthritis, and then being home for my kids and my husband, I just am really uh, appreciating this opportunity to be home and. Because I left a pretty well-paying job, I earned a little over half of our income, I have had to make it my job to try to be more frugal and to try to find ways to save money now that I'm not making any money. And so I was watching a video recently by a woman, and I can't remember her name now, but her website is The Family Freezer. And she has a website, she has videos, she has e-books um, like recipe books and all kinds of things about how to be uh, how to prepare meals for your family and freeze them ahead of time so she does a lot of like preparing of 10 meals at once and in one of the videos I was watching she was testing out these bags and I just love the idea of having some reusable bags uh, that will help you know it's it prevents us from having to buy so many Ziploc bags. I've always been a fan of trying to lower the amount of waste that we produce. I'm not great about it and I'm not militant about it by any stretch. We have tons of Ziploc bags. I've been known to wash Ziploc bags just to reuse them. And so I purchased these because, hey, it's right up my alley. In addition to that, she was trialing this little stand, which is separate. I'll tell you about it because it's really cool, but it's not owned by the same person as the Fresh Menu bags. And these stands are awesome. They stand up on your counter. I don't know if I'm able to do this. Uh, so you can see, basically they stand up on your counter and then you can fill the bags and you can have like a little assembly line set up and it's incredible. So anyway, that's how I came to get the bags. Here's how I came to meet Matt, who is the owner and creator of the bags. So I was, uh, you know, of course you purchase something online and I was just super eager to use them and I didn't realize that these are not heat friendly. They're, you can't use boiling liquids in these at all. And I didn't know that. Um, as a matter of fact, their listing on Amazon where I bought it had conflicting information. At the top it said heat resistant and then way down in the listing which had tons of information in it, almost too much to really read and retain, it did say do not use with hot liquids. Well, I made a giant batch of chicken noodle soup a, a month ago or so. And I always do, whenever I make soup or chili or anything, I make way over what we need and then I freeze in lunch size portion, 
portions and dinner size portions. So I was hoping to freeze a whole bunch of chicken noodle soup in these. It was still quite hot. Um, and I do that with Ziploc bags and they've, I've never had an issue with it. I'll fill the Ziploc bag, I'll seal it up good, I'll lay it flat on a cookie sheet in the freezer so it will freeze flat and then I can fit them kind of stacked side by side. It's way better. I used to use like glass containers, but they take up so much room. So anyway, I'm filling the chicken noodle soup into the bag. You know, I got it on my stand and I'm filling it and suddenly it's leaking. And I'm like, what's going on here? Is there a hole in the bag? Suddenly the whole seam of the bag lets go. And I have hot, hot chicken noodle soup pouring everywhere. Where I'm standing right now, I'm standing at the end of my kitchen table. I have a big cutting board here and I am standing here filling up the chicken noodle soup and my dog is at, at my feet below me waiting for drippings and droppings. Little did he expect boiling soup to come flowing off the countertop. Luckily, no animals were injured. I was okay, but it was a mess. And I wasn't happy about that. So I went on Amazon and I left a review. And I basically just said, these bags seem sturdy enough. The seals, the little Ziploc seems to work fine. Just don't use them with boiling liquids because then you're gonna have boiling liquids all over you and your little doggy below and you know, just a little joke or whatever. About a week later, I get an email from, actually, he sought me out on Instagram. I get a message from Matt Kern of the Fresh Menu Kitchen and he apologized for what had happened he said that he went on his listing on Amazon and noticed the conflicting information and felt terrible about it and actually had hired someone to help him with that listing. So he was gonna have that corrected. And he asked how my dog was. He hoped my dog was okay. And then he offered to send me some replacements. He just said, you know, hopefully you can find some other use for them. And I was very impressed by that, quite honestly, like very impressed. And so I responded back to him and I thanked him and I said I would love to take replacements and um, I appreciated him uh, fixing the mistake, kind of owning up to the mistake. I mean, he could have easily said, well, if you would have just read further in the thing, you would have seen it. Um, but it wasn't at all about me. It was about him um, being sorry and he believes in his product and he wants to make a good product. And because of that, I asked him his story. I wanted to learn a little bit more about him to see if I could feature him in one of these. So let me tell you Matt's story. So he said, this is what he sent me. So he spent over 15 years in the culinary industry. He's from Canada, he's up in Canada, and um, including the last five years selling commercial kitchen equipment. Unfortunately, like so many people, he lost his job due to COVID. He was laid off, as were so many during the time of the pandemic when everything was closing down. And so he'd always been interested in selling something and ever, you know, again, somebody with a family, he wanted to figure out, okay, how do I work? How do I make this work? How do I keep supporting my family? So he decided um, to start learning about the different options for selling. He'd already kind of looked into it in the past, but now was the time for him to really in earnest say, okay, is there a product that I can create or sell that would be beneficial to people? And so in the, uh, so he and a business partner that he found had launched their first product on Amazon. And he said there's a huge learning curve to selling on Amazon firstly, but uh, he said that they just worked through it and they learned as much as they could. And so in December of 2019, so keep in mind, I think I'm getting my timelines a little mixed up. He was laid off last year. He had started this prior to that, but then in earnest started focusing on it. Okay. So December of 2019, they launched these bags and then they were able to launch a blog and all of these things. So he has a blog. He sells these products on Amazon and he has gone through some trial and error to find a good product that he believes in. And so he's just really excited to be able to contribute to us people at home looking for good products, I guess. And I was just really, uh, I was impressed by his customer service. That's really what won me over. So let me tell you how I've been using these bags. 
because they do work. Just don't use them with hot liquids. But if you're gonna freeze like maybe leftovers that are cooled down, um, they don't have to be cold, they just can't be boiling or super hot. Or what I did, and I just took this out of the freezer. So I I took some tri-tip beef, I bought a big beef roast, and I cut it up into pieces because there's a stroganoff recipe I wanna try to make. And so I stuck the beef pieces in this bag, I labeled it with a dry erase marker that will just wipe off of this when I'm done. And I put in here some beef, some oil, some salt, and pepper. And I, and I laid it flat in my freezer till it was frozen solid. This is frozen. And now it fits perfectly. I can slide a whole bunch of them together in the freezer. When I'm ready to make this, I'll just pull it out of the freezer. I'll open it up. I'll you know, whatever I need to do. I could tape a recipe to this, um, whatever I need to do. And I then will take it and I will wash it when I'm done. And all you have to do, these are super sturdy, you guys. They're really sturdy. The zipper is awesome. They're very strong. I put water in here and I zipped it up and no leaking at all. I really like them. So then I'll take the bag and I'll turn it inside out when I'm ready to wash it up and I'll wash it, you know, I'll just kind of poke it all the way through, I'll wash the inside, and then I'll go and I'll hang it in, I have a little um, kind of a laundry bar uh, in, in my laundry room, and actually using the wig hooks that I use to hang my wigs, I'll just kind of hang it upside down and let it dry, and then I'll be able to reuse it again. And so I just want to tell you guys about this great product, this great um, new little small business called Fresh Menu Kitchen. He does have a blog. I'll link everything in the description. He did not pay me to do this. I only got a couple of free bags, but only because he was replacing a bag that I lost. Um, I'm just doing this because I like to, again, bring good products to you guys, and I like to help others any way that I can. And if I'm gonna have a little bit of a platform here on YouTube, I'm gonna use it for good. So if you're, if you're interested, please go to the description. I will have a link to the Amazon product. I will also link these. These are those other little things they've got they um they go they can go shorter you can raise them up if you use a taller bag um when you go to put them away they fold flat and you can make these like this and so i just keep the whole kit and caboodle right inside here i stack all of these just a regular little kind of rubbermaid and then i lay the bags on top of it right now all but one bag two bags have stuff in it in the freezer um and i'll link his blog and uh, so let me know if you have questions. Show Matt a little love if you think this is kind of a cool idea and if you appreciate good customer service. And if you have any ideas for some Tip Tuesday videos for me, let me know because again, I am all about helping find good products and share them and help small businesses. I love you guys. I'm so grateful if you made it all this way and that you are here to support me whether it's wigs or not. And I will talk to you soon.